Hello, my name's Eda Al. They call me the Sly Git, and I'm here to talk to you about At the Border, 1979, and how it compares with Belfast Confetti. Right, let's start off At the Border, 1979. The theme of this poem is of returning to one's homeland, only to find that it is the same as the place one left. This is expressed through the line, It rained on both sides of the chain showing the conflict has ravaged both countries. Both are affected so much they become the same. Hello, my name's Hisham, but you can call me Brother Faisal. I'll now talk to you about Belfast Confetti. This poem displays conflict from the other side of the coin. The line, I know this labyrinth so well, shows how conflict has ravaged through the city, but now it's so different. Even someone who has lived in the city for so long no longer recognises it. Both poems agree on one thing though. Conflict cannot be escaped easily. Now, back to At the Border, 1979. Throughout the poem, there is a sense that while feelings about a place are changed by conflict, the change varies from generation to generation. For example, there is a line, A man bent down and kissed his muddy homeland. The word muddy conveys the sense that the land is disgusting, grimy, and dirty, and not something that you would want to kiss. But the man, because he is part of the older generation, is infatuated with the idea <clears throat> that his homeland is better than the land he has just come from. However, the younger generations view their homeland with much skepticism, as shown in the line I was five years old, standing by the check-in point, comparing both sides of the border. The line comparing both sides of the border sounds like something a more mature and older person would do, not someone who is five years. Back to Belfast If we look at, at the structure of the poem, you'll see how both stanzas are of equal length, but vary greatly in their content. The first describes the past horrors of conflict, while the second is present tense. It tells you exactly what's happening now. It gives the impression the conflict has been going on for a while now. The irony of nuts, bolts, car keys, items that usually hold things together. The poor he uses them instead as explosive to blow things apart, which is actually what the IRA used to do.